Hello! It's me again. I wanted to do another video. And today, I want to talk to you about how to accelerate your reading and learning. And more importantly, how to improve your quality of life with whatever purpose you've decided. And today I have three books, <clears throat> excuse me. One is called Photo Reading by Paul Sheely. Same author, Natural Brilliance, Overcome Any Challenge at Will. Complete Guide for Experiencing Potential, Your Potential. A photo reading, um, Read with Greater Speed, Comprehension and enjoyment to absorb complete books in minutes. And of course, the complete idiot's guide to speed reading. Time-saving strategies for reading faster and remembering more. Now, I, I, I do not have two speed reading books in front of me. You do not see two speed reading books. You only see one speed reading book. This is photo reading. Speed reading, photo reading, okay? So I want to make that distinction. I had to do that. So I, I hope that you didn't get upset at me for doing it, but I had to make that distinction. These are two different things, okay? First, let's talk about photo reading. What is photo reading? Photo reading is using a type of photographic absorption mechanism. I'm not going to say photographic memory because I don't want you to automatically say, well, I don't have photographic memory, so I can't do this. Stop that. Anybody can learn to do this. The worst thing is, is getting out of your own way. I have known about this thing, photo reading. I had known about this many, many years ago. In fact, I learned about it about a year after I left the Jehovah's Witness people behind. And because it, I, I was not able to focus. You know, I don't know, some of you coming out of the Jehovah's Witness or other institutions, it's hard to focus and, and to relax. I was not able to relax. I was constantly in, in anxiety mode constantly tense this requires you to relax and that was the big problem I could not relax enough I couldn't open my mind enough to something new at that time so it was only five years ago over a decade at later that I gave this a second try because at first I, I gave it a half you know I didn't even really do I didn't follow directions like it had in the book. I just kind of did my own thing with it, and it didn't work. So I said, well, it must be a gimmick. It must be fake. It must be a scam. Oh, well. But I never quite let it go. And many years later, I decided to give it a second try. And when I did, it worked. And I will tell you this. In the years between, I did learn some meditation techniques. I did learn to relax a lot better, and I... I was able to get some kind of healing with the anxiety and process things. So that must have played a part in that too because this is all about taking and absorbing entire books in minutes. Basically, you have a handful of steps. What you do, you prepare here are the steps right here. You prepare, you preview, you photo read, you post view, and you activate. Well, what does that mean? First, you preview the book. You look through it. Okay, well, hard work help me. I don't like the sound of that, hard work. What about growth cycle? What's that? Excellence, need for change, okay. Enrich your photo reading experience. What does that mean? How do I enrich it? Consider vision training. 
Okay, so there's something with vision. Expand your peripheral awareness. Oh, warmer, softer light. So you just look at these pages and words. Okay, here's a choo-choo train, main argument. What's that? Skittering. Skittering achieves very fast, surprisingly accurate. Okay, formulate questions. Find trigger words, survey material. Okay, preview. Okay. Put it to all together. And that's what you do. You just look at whatever jumps out at you. What's this? An airplane, the guys. Okay, origins of photo reading. And you look through it. That's how you do it. You preview it. Look at the back cover. Okay, who's this guy? All right, 25,000 words per minute. Is that even possible? I don't know. Okay, includes a coupon. Okay, so then you move on. Once you previewed it. Oh, and by the way. You can read this book in 25 minutes. I didn't read this book the first go around in 25 minutes, but I can read it now in 25 minutes. But then I've read it <laughs> several times over. But he basically um, breaks down the different things you can expect. By photo reading it, you're at the first level. Okay, you get the gist of the book in about 25 minutes. First page through the entire book, read the table of contents, chapter titles, subtitles, page through the book the second time and scan for icons of Einstein riding a bicycle. Read the paragraph next to each bicycle icon. If you have more time, then continue to level two. Level two is a little deeper layer. So you're basically taking this information in layers depending on what you need. Some things you only need a big picture. You just need to know the gist. What's the big idea? That's it. You don't need to know anything else because it's not going to be useful to you. But then some things you need another deeper layer and another deeper layer. Okay. The second layer, absorb core concepts of this book well enough to discuss them in just 30 minutes. Page through the book again, this time scan for icons of Einstein jogging. That's him right here. Read the paragraph next to each jogging icon. So right away, you can tell that he set this book up in such a way to make it easy for you to grab. You see the jogging Einstein right there? You can grab this info. What's this about? Post view. When finished, most participants recognize they have achieved 80 to 90% of what they really want and need. Okay, 45 minute periods of activation. So once you're absorbing this stuff, then you have another layer, an additional 30 minutes. Now, you can go to a much deeper layer for an additional 45 to 90 minutes. Fully understand the photo reading skills by spending up to 90 more minutes. Page through the book, scanning for icons of Einstein with a light bulb. Read the paragraph next to each icon. As you search for icons, remember that you have what you have read before by reviewing titles and subtitles. So, <clears throat> what you're going to do is, you're going to get into a very relaxed state, okay, and then you're going to do a soft stare. A soft stare is where the pages are going to be out of focus. They're going to blur. Yes, you want them to blur. Now, if they don't blur, it's okay, as long as you're relaxed and... The book starts this, you're going to stare down the middle of the spine of the book. And what happens is, is that the two pages may begin merging. And you'll see like a third part of a page form. That's when you know you've got the soft stare. You can also do the uh, cocktail weenie test where, it, where you stare between your first two index fingers. And you soften your stare until a third uh, cocktail weenie forms in between the tips of your left and right finger. Next, you'll want to, I hope I can find the picture very quick, where you, um, they call it the tangerine effect. And what it is, is that you imagine a tangerine in this location behind your head. You close your eyes, you relax, and you imagine a tangerine in that area. You focus your consciousness to that area, actually. That's why you're imagining that tangerine, because you're going to 
focus your consciousness to the area just behind the back of your head in the crown area while closing your eyes and you're going to get into a relaxed state and what that does is it it activates your peripheral vision it also helps you to relax it's a very pleasure of, <coughs> excuse me a very pleasurable feeling and then like I said, you're going to open your eyes and you're going to stare down the center of the page and then in the soft stare and then you're going to turn each page completely relaxed while highly focused, absorbing, absorbing the book, absorbing each page. You're not actually reading it, not at this step. Now in the other steps, you will do some reading, but here what you're doing is you're absorbing the book. You're actually listening to the book in another way, not with your physical ears. You're actually tasting the information. You're smelling it. You're, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, a, a it's almost meditative. It's so relaxing, but you're going to go through each page. And then when you're done, when you're done, you're going to do some reviewing. You're going to review each section. And like I said here in the beginning, you can choose how deep of a layer you want to go. If you just want the big picture, you can get it in less than half an hour. In about an hour's time, you will have the core concepts of the book. In about two hours time or two and a half hours time, you'll have a full understanding of the skills in this book. So get this book if you're interested. I think it's well worth anyone's time. I don't care who you are. I think it's well worth any, anyone's time because it helps you to go through. You can use this. It's best used on how-to books that teach you things on how to do things like speed reading or you know, knitting sweaters or rollerblading, skydiving, whatever it is. It's also very useful for training material at work when they're changing up the computer system on you and you need to update, you need to train, and you need to go through about 100 pages of training manuals in two days. This is your your secret weapon right here. <laughs> um, and you activate the information through mind maps, and that's what I was showing you in the other video. You can activate that, and it will stick, and you create layers. So it's not about taking something and quickly reading, and all of a sudden you're able to recall every single word and every single page. That's not what this is about. It all depends on your purpose and what your why are you photo reading a particular book. So this is a great one. This one here goes with it, Natural Brilliance. It's It takes it a little further. It talks about something called implicit learning, where you're able to absorb information and actually have a physiological change in your body through the absorption of information. It's a, it's a very interesting topic. Uh, he has these steps here that a lot of people have been able to acquire new skills or to, to further develop their skills directly from books on a subconscious level. Now, I will tell you this. You will not be able to just a photo read a book and all of a sudden be a virtuoso violinist, for example. You won't be, you won't be doing that. I don't think so but you will find yourself having an easier time implementing that new skill, especially if it's something you're already passionate about. You're gonna have so much fun discovering hidden talents and skills and abilities that you didn't think you had. So that's great. Now, lastly, this book here, Speed Reading, Complete Idiot's Guide for Speed Reading. This is speed reading, but once again, there are some misconceptions about speed reading. Number one, you don't want to be able to remember every single word on every single page. That's just useless crap. 
you know what I mean? You, you, you don't need every single word on every single page. All you need is what you need, right? So the first part is understanding why your what your purpose is for speed reading a book. Next thing is it's all about your peripheral vision, widening your peripheral vision. Instead of reading word for word for word for word, now you're going to widen it and you're going to gradually widen it. You're going to take in two words at a time, then three and four, then entire sentences then you're going to go to entire paragraphs. And it's also about being aware of the subheadings. You're going to do a preview, just like in photo reading where you do a preview, you're going to do the same thing in the speed reading. They're very similar and they go, they go well together hand in hand. I do believe that, but don't think that one is the other because it's not. It's not quite the same, but like I said, they go, they, they go together well like uh, mashed potatoes and mushroom gravy. <laughs> so you're going to just go through it, you know, what's this, taking notes on the screen, speed reading on screen, okay, so that's probably PDFs, right, uh, don't go back, what's that, don't go back, don't go back to the cult, okay, that's what this is about, you see this, it's a sign, that's coincidence, that's a miracle, don't go back, no, don't go back, uh, so what's that about? What's it mean? Recreating the structure. Don't go back means in speed reading, you're, when you miss something, you're not to go back. You know, if you're like, well, I didn't quite understand that. It's, I went a little too fast. You're not supposed to go back. You just keep going. That's how you train your, your brain to learn to pick it up quicker. But once again, you're not going to be able to speed read every book the same speed. And that's the misconception I think people have about speed reading and also photo, photo reading is that certain things you're not going to speed read at the same speed. Topics that you're familiar with, you're going to speed read much faster than topics that you're not familiar with. You know, it's just how it is. So speed reading is actually, if I had to rename this, it actually would be efficient speed reading because or various speed reading because a math book you're not going to speed read the same way like a history book and textbooks college textbooks are not going to be read at the same pace or even with the same purpose as a newspaper article or a magazine article so keep that in mind but anyway if you're interested check out photo reading it's probably in your local library I'm always a proponent of saving your money and going to your local library support your library system this one here natural brilliance overcome any challenge at will it's a pretty good book and it's got a lot of cool stuff in there about setting goals and how to overcome that stuck state maybe you've been i don't know wanting to quit smoking for example and you feel stuck and you know it's a goal of yours that you've been working on, and so this can help you. And, of course, Complete Idiot's Guide to a Speed Reading. No, I'm not calling you an idiot. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. Nobody's an idiot. But these series are really great because they take out the fluff, they give you what you need, and you don't have to read all kinds of extra stuff. And you can, you know, the way the structure of the book is set up, in these series, the Dummies and the Idiot series is really great because you have the main ideas in bold print. You've got bullets, bullet points. It's just really great to get in there and dig in immediately and get started. So, thanks for watching and I hope this helps. And let me know if you've done photo reading. I think I've met only one other XJW that photo reads. And I was so excited. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried it. I know a lot of people on Amazon. And if you look at the Amazon reviews, they say that this doesn't work. But I'm here to tell you I've been doing this for almost seven years. And it works. Well, at least it works for me. Thanks for watching. See you later.